this uh, press conference. Uh, I want to thank uh, the issue President Mr. Putin uh, from, for uh, the European Club Cup Circus 8 held in uh, Greece and his presentation there. I want to thank also Mr. Uh, Radzakov, who is uh, present here as a uh, representative of uh, let's say, uh, players. Uh, 600 players, uh, more than 20 players, over to 700, uh, about 85 players, uh, more than to 600, and 30 women players, more, more than to 400. Obviously, it's one of the strongest event ever happened, and of course, it's the strongest event and more mass in the in European Club Cup uh, uh, history. We use we produce this t-shirts for some teams that they ask for us. It's something new for chess. You see, there is a team, name, logo, and one number who represents the board, not necessarily. And behind, you can see the logo of the event or the logo of the sponsor. And at the same time, you can see the name of the player. So, about 10-15 teams uh, ordered these desserts and they were very happy that they received it because something new and it's very nice for the players that they can see their names behind the t-shirt. It's very difficult now to, to add something uh, new. So, uh, European Club Cup is really one of our the most important events and uh, I'm very happy and proud that uh, the new record, uh, that we have the new record of uh, participations and so many top players. So, uh, I believe, uh, I will not say too much, uh, we can make uh, some kind of comparison with the uh, Chess Olympiad. Some stage, this event is even stronger. Considering the European Club Cups, I think that it's getting stronger and stronger and of course it's a long time ago. It's, uh, for everyone it was clear that uh, the number of rounds is uh, really uh, very small for such teams. And uh, now, not considering even the world financial crisis and uh, any stuff like that, we are getting the more and more strong teams and they really, uh, they really have still, still they have uh, the possibility to bring their teams. And uh, I think that it's very nice that uh, not considering the world financial situation, uh, all the teams are coming here and uh, they are playing in their best fields. And uh, okay, in general, I think that um, the European Club Cup is getting stronger and stronger each year, and uh, all the best players uh, are attending these uh, tournaments. And uh, well, not considering that there is a match now in the resin, I think that those uh, players like Anand, for example, he would play in uh, for Badenos probably or some other team and okay, he was interested for a long time in such tournaments and he asked me when once in Vaik, uh, how is it on the European Club Cup? I said, okay, Mr. Anand is uh, like a nice tournament all the time, is, uh, those, those tournaments are going in some places near the sea, so it's a uh, pleasant atmosphere. And uh, he said, okay, I will see that maybe I will play for the club, but the problem is that German clubs are not sending the teams. I said, okay, but uh, soon it will happen. And then he played in the European uh, Club Cup in 2007 in Turkey. And uh, okay, I think that, uh, well, he was uh, very happy to attend such, such an interesting event. And uh, okay, I'm very happy to see that uh, the participants list and the, the top list of players is growing and we have already many new teams with the super fields. I think that um, consisted of uh, top 10 players or something like that. I think that really it's a big step uh, forward because uh, as much players we have to, from the top list and uh, so on, we have more attention for the tournament. And uh, okay, I'm happy that um, uh, okay, such tournaments are taking place and uh, there are no problems with them because we really need at least to keep our traditional events and uh, of course to plus uh, some new events in the world, probably like uh, super tournaments or uh, well, probably even some uh, new championships or let's say some world championships teams and so on to make it more like more um, uh, year to year tournaments like you know traditional ones. And uh, okay, in general I'm happy with everything, with the organization, with uh, 
the atmosphere here and uh, okay we're near the sea now it's warm when in most of the Europe it's already a cold time and uh, okay so I'm happy with the work of organizers of the European uh, community and uh, really pleasant to be here and I hope that uh, the general level of play will not be so bad of mine and I will try my best of course and okay I have a nice um, teammates here from Ural and we are playing already not for the first year so uh, okay we are going uh, to fight our best for, for highest places and um, well okay thank you for, for uh, attention of the media for the tournament and uh, I really hope that it will bring a lot of success as for the tournament as in general for the chess and um, I'm happy that okay we can attend such uh, meetings here and have a great future I hope so I believe that the uh, economical, uh, economical crisis will affect chess also. Of course it will have a big uh, influence on it, because uh, if company gets less money, then it has less money to pay for something, and it might be chess too, because it, the club really takes a lot of money from, from, the, from the companies, and uh, okay, they like it because they have this, you know, they have uh, a big uh, promotional, how to say, promotional idea when the club wins, for example. And uh, okay, they have you know even at their meeting on their level, they can come and say my club is European club champion and so on. They like such things. And I remember there when there was uh, Madame Ogé for uh, uh, French club now. She was very happy when we were winning uh, European club cups. And she said that okay, with the financial minister of France, I'm coming on the meeting and I can say that my club won the European club cup and I feel really different. And so for me, it's very nice. And of course, if such people, are rich people, they are getting less money or companies, they are getting less money, of course, it might be really a problem with the chess clubs too, because the chess clubs are not supported from the air. They are supported from some uh, companies which, if they have the financial crisis, of course, or bankrolls sometimes, then of course, the clubs are getting um, in a very unpleasant situation and might really collapse.